Intel 13 Zen Mature Legacy PC are like the feature Intel 4 compute tile, TSMC 3 nanometer GPU tile, and TSMC M5 by M4 SOC LP tile. Uh, further details regarding Intel's uh, 13 Gen uh, Mature Legacy CPUs, which will power next gen PCs in uh, 2023, have been revealed by Commercial Times. The source quotes their uh, own sources, uh, which has uh, outlined some interesting specifications and process notes to be utilized by uh, next generation Intel chip. Intel Mature Lake 13 Gen Core CPUs are the utilized TSMC's 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer process tag in addition to the Intel 4 node. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, uh, first look at the test chips uh, for the Intel Mature Lake CPU, which comes with a quad tile design. Uh, everyone jumped on board to provide uh, their own analysis, and it seems almost everyone has come to the conclusion that the middle tile is uh, the for GPU, the compute tile uh, is for uh, CPU, is the one on top, and the SOC tile is the smallest one at the bottom. And uh, uh, we also get a first loop uh, Metro Lake test chip wafer, which measures 300 millimeter diameter. The wafer comprises test chips uh, which are dummy dies uh, once again to make uh, sure that the interconnects on the chip work as intended. Intel already achieved power on uh, for its Metro Lake compute CPU time. So we can expect final chips to be produced by the second of 2022 for launch in 2023. We already got uh, some details from uh, Intel, uh, such as uh, the fact that Intel's Material Lake uh, line of uh, desktop and mobility CPUs are expected to be based on a new line of Cove code architecture. This is rumored to be known as Redwood Cove and will be based on a 7 nanometer EUV Intel 4 process node. Intel is stated that Redwood Cove is designed for the ground up to the uh, agnostic node. Uh, it is stated that the Redwood Cove is designed from the ground up to be an agnostic node, which means that it can be fabricated at different fabs. There are references mentioned that uh, point out to uh, TSMC to be uh, backup or even uh, partial supply for the Redwood Cove uh, based chips. This might tell us why Intel is stating multiple manufacturing processes for the CPU family. The Redwood Cove architecture will power the P cores and uh, best mount will power to the E cores. The Meteor Lake CPUs is going to be the first CPU generation for Intel to say farewell to the ring bus interconnect architecture. There are also rumors that uh, Meteor Lake uh, could be fully 3D stack design and could utilize an input output uh, die source from an external fab. TSMC uh, cited again. The source points out that uh, SOC LP tile will be based on either TSMC's N5 or N4 process node, while the GPU tile will be based on TSMC's. 3 nanometer node. It is highlighted that uh, Intel will be officially utilizing its uh, Fovers packaging technology on the CPU to uh, interconnect uh, the various dies on the chip. This also aligns with Intel referring to each tile on 14 gen chips individually. And the Material Lake desktop CPU family is expected to retain support on the LGA 1700 socket, which is the same socket used by the Alder Lake and Raptor Lake processors. We can expect DDR5 memory and uh, PCI Express Gen 5.0 support. The platform will support both DDR5 and DDR4 memory with the mainstream and buzzer tire options going for DDR4 memory teams, while the premium and high end offerings going for DDR5 teams. The site also lists uh, down uh, both Major League P and Major League M CPUs that will be aimed at mobility platforms. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching.